this is Katina, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the Muse Score app. This is a great app that I use all the time in teaching and in my own playing. It has a lot of really cool features, and I'm going to do another video later on about the Muse Score for the computer, which is also really cool. If you make it all the way to the end of the video, I'm going to give you instructions on how to get entered into a raffle to win a free year of Muse Score Pro. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Bye. Okay, here we go. So this is the Muse Score app. When you open it up, it's going to take you right to your search. My last search, obviously, was for clarinet. You can scroll through and see the different scores that have been added recently for clarinet right here. Let's go ahead and click on the Undertale. I'm going to show you what happens when you click on it, which is pretty cool. It's going to take you to the music directly. And if you click the lower left-hand corner icon which, icon, which is the piano, you have a practice mode right here. And you're going to see the middle, which was just loading that play button. I'm not going to hit that because once I hit that in my screen record, you can't hear me anymore. But if you press that button, it's going to give you a metronome that you can play along with the music. You can also slow down the tempo over here with the tempo button. And rewind is going to just take you back to the beginning. What's really great about this, this playback feature, is it's a really fun way to practice sight reading because you're sight reading actual music with melodies and accompaniments and harmonies instead of a computer-generated sight reading exercise, which isn't quite as fun as playing something that has a melody and a shape to it and you might even recognize. If you go into the settings, you can transpose it, which is pretty cool. You can change the part. You can also change the volume of the metronome. I'm going to leave the settings up here. You can hit your favorite button, and you can also hit the three dots by adding it to your favorites. Go to the profile of the author who wrote it or arranged it, and you can save it to your songbook. Now, saving it to the songbook is a pretty cool feature. I'm going to go ahead and print that, push that button, and then exporting it to PDF is pretty cool. If you have a scanner on your phone, you can just go ahead and print it out, and you can also share it by sending it through email. So that's what happens. Oh, and of course, the metronome in the corner, you can change the playback speed. Going back to the home screen in a second, staying on the music itself, you can loop it, and it shows, you know, you can pick your section to loop it. Now, hitting the play button here actually plays the music for you. And then, of course, you can zoom into it up there with that little bubble for with the 181. That's the comments of what people have said. And hitting the the other settings button, you once again change the tempo and transpose it for playback and the three dots will take you to the profile of the, um, the author and arranger and composer. Alright, going back to your main page, next I'm going to hit the library icon right here which will show my music, recent favorites up here, it'll show my scores that I've arranged, favorites that obviously I've hit the favorite button, the songbook, this is one I was telling you before, when you hit the songbook, it saves your score that you like into your phone or your iPad or whatever device you're using, and you can practice it, play it offline, which is pretty cool. All right, going into your feed. This is if you have any notifications for people that you follow or people that follow you. And then hitting your profile button, you can see your followers you're following, how many people you're following. MuseScore is pretty good about contacting them for support and feedback, so they have that right here on your profile page, which is pretty cool. All right, so that is MuseScore, the app. It's different for whoops, it's different for your computer. You can actually arrange and edit the music that way too. Thanks for watching and comments, questions. Please post them below. Bye. Hey, I'm back. So you made it all the way to the end. You watched the whole tutorial. You learned all about MuseScore. I'm going to hope that you didn't skip all the way through to get to the end for the instructions on how to be entered into the sweepstakes for the one year of pro subscription to MuseScore. So all you have to do is comment below about what your favorite arrangement is that you found on MuseScore. So go. Thanks for watching. Bye.